أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم نحمد و نسلی علی رسول کریم اما بعد بائی دی گریس آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی ناؤ وی ہیو ریسٹ ون آف دی موسٹ بیوٹیفل پیئر آف سوراس ان دی قرآن دیٹ از سورت المزمل اینڈ سورت المدثر بہت اسٹارٹ ان دی سیم وے Because the literal meanings of Muzzammil and Muddassir are the same. One who is lying down wrapped in some cloak or in some blanket. Now actually what was this? This depicts and denotes a period of deep reflection and thought in which Muhammad Wasallam was engaged. Before the beginning of Vahi, he was engaged in deep thought about what this universe is, who am I, why is there injustice in this world, why are people going wrong. In the loneliness of the cave of Hira, what did he do? Kaana sifatu taabudhi fi ghar al-hira at-tafakkuru wal-i'tibar Contemplation thinking, pondering. This was the state of affairs when, you know, the first way he came. Now after that, he was again, he was still in that condition of deep reflection and thought. And it was the habit of the Arabs. Whenever they were engrossed in some deep thought, they would take some cloak or some blanket and, you know, wrap around them and lie down some, in some corner and thinking, lonely. So the condition of the Prophet still remained the same. Now the major issue was, what a burden has come to me? What will happen to me? What is this mission that has been entrusted to me? How can I fulfill the, condition, the requirements? So this was the thought. In this background, both these surahs appear. And you'll find the same word of command. Ya ayu al-muzzamil, qum. Ya ayu al-muddassir, qum. Now give up this contemplation and thought. And now stand up and start your mission. So this is the background of these two words. So let us begin. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Ya ayyuhal muzzammil. O the one enfolded in your robes. Qum. Stand up. Qum il layla. Keep standing the whole night. Illa qalila. Except a small part of it. Nisfahu. Half of it, abin qus bin ho qalila. Or you can diminish out of it somewhat. Awzir alayhi. Or add something to the half. And what do you do? Rattili al-Qur'an tartila. Keep on, keep on reciting Qur'an. Bit by bit. Slowly. Hammer it down. This is the third wahi that came to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The first wahi, the five ayat in the beginning of Surah Al-Alaq. Iqra bismi rabbika al-lazhi khalaq. Khalaq al-insana min alaq. Iqra wa rabbuk al-akram. Al-lazhi allama bil-qalam. Allama al-insana ma'alam ya'alam. 
The second was his seven ayat of Surah Al-Qalam. We read yesterday, last night. Noon wal qalam wa ma yastaroon. Ma anta bi ni'mati rabbika bi majnoon. Wa inna laka la ajran ghaira mamnoon. Wa inna ka la ala khuluqin azim. Fasatubsiru wa yubsiruun bi ayyikum al-maftoon. Inna rabbaka huwa ya'lamu bi huwa a'lamu bi man dhalla an sabilihi wa huwa a'lamu bil muhtadeen. Third way is this. O the one lying wrapped down in your cloak, keep vigilant, keep standing the whole of night, except a little of it, half of it, or you can diminish a bit, that is at least one third, or you add so that it becomes two thirds of the night. And what we do, recite the Quran distinctly. And in slow and mere tone. And how much Quran was revealed up till that time? <laughs> what did it mean? Repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. Go on repeating. This is what I call hammering down. Hammer it down. It should be absorbed in each and every cell of your body. This will give you the strength for the mission that is going to be entrusted to you. You are already as regards basic human morality, you are already on, a, already on a very high pedestal. But for this mission, something else is needed. And you have to gather that strength, spiritual strength, in order to be able to fulfill the requirements of this mission. And that you will get from Quran. Hammer it down. Inna sanulki alayka qalan saqila. Soon we are going to cast upon you a very heavy word, a very hard task. What that word and task is going to be, that you will find in the next surah, Al-Muddassir. Inna nashiyat al-laylihi ashaddu wat'am wa'akwa muqila. Surely, this keeping vigilant during the night is very effective in trampling the animal self of a man, this id and libido, the animal instincts, you have to trample over them. And this keeping awake during the night is very effective. And akwa And in that, when you are alone in the stillness of night, night calm, no noise, no disturbance. And then you are standing before your Lord and having a conversation. So now each word that comes out of your mouth goes straight. Akwa mokila. There's no hindrance. No bar, no barrier. Inna laka fin nahari sabhan tawila. Verily during the day, you have a prolonged occupation. You have to go out, go about. Meet people. And you have to discharge other duties also. So this is the time, night is actually, which is the most effective part. And you devote it at least one third, maybe two third, but normally half of it. And I, when we started this program, on the first day I told you that this Qiyam Ramadan, when the Prophet says, Man Sama Ramadana, Mufira Lahuma Taqadama Min Zambi, Man Kama Ramadana, this Sama Ramadan and Kama Ramadan, they are parallel. You keep fast during the whole of the day. And Kama Ramadana, only one hour of the Tarawi, is it sufficient? No. The same, at least one third, half. Maybe if you can, two-thirds of the night. That is the, the qiyam according to the Qur'an. Otherwise, you know. And when the Prophet said, as wal Qur'anu abd. This fasting and keeping awake and standing during the night, both will intercede before the Lord on the Day of Judgment, on behalf of the persons who are doing it. Yaqulu Sayyamu, Ayrab, Manatuhut, 
الطعام والشهوات من النهار بصوم بصيام دي فاستنج ويل سي او ماي لورد اي كيبت ذس سيرفنت اوف يورز فروم ايتنج اند درينكنج اند اذر ثينجز ديورنج ذا دي فشفني في اكسبت ماي انترسيشن اون هيز بيهاف اي قران ويل سي يقول القران مناته النوم بالليل I kept him away from sleeping during the night. For shafani fi, so accept my intercession on his behalf. And the Prophet said, "For you shafan, both the intercession of both will be accepted." So this keeping away from sleep is it for one hour? Taravi? Does this fulfill the purpose? Not at all. But this is good that Hazrat Umar decided about it. Not every person can do it. It is correct. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala didn't make it obligatory. But whosoever can do, whosoever can take one month off, let him pass that one month with Quran out of the twelve months of the year. Let him keep one month exclusive for Quran. This can be done. Generally speaking, all the servants. of the government etc they are given one month leave you don't go for any recreation etc etc you recreate your spirituality through quran during that month possible but allah be thanked some of the brothers have been at least keeping awake for at least one third or half of the night with us alhamdulillah Maybe this proves to be beneficial for them. Was kuris marab be kama tamatta nilaihe tamtila. This is very beautiful, you know. This address to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam at a very personal level. And oh Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, always keep remembering our name, keep remembering the name of your Lord. But tamatta nilaihe tamtila and devote yourself wholly and solely to Him. that is completely detached from all others completely disconnecting all hopes from anybody else except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this tabattul is something very great don't have any hope from any other person all your hopes to allah this is tabattul come close to him disconnect from the others not the way that you go to some you know some cave and sit there and give up this society no no you be with them but when you are with them be with allah this is tabattul rabbul mashriq wal maghrib la ilaha illa huwa he is the lord of the east and the lord of the west there is no god except he fattakhiz hu wakila So you take him as your guardian. Tawakkul on Allah only and only. Cut off all the hopes from others. Focus your hopes on Allah. Cut off your trust from all others. Focus your trust in Allah. Wasmi ala ma yakulun and bear patiently what they are saying about you. They are saying he has gone mad, gone crazy. Maybe he has been possessed by some evil spirit. He says some angel came to me in, when I was there in Hira. Maybe some demon, maybe some evil spirit has come. Listen it and take it patiently. Wahjurhum hajran jamila, and leave their company, but in a beautiful way. In Surah Maarij, we we read, "Was mir sabran jamila." Endure, but this endurance should be in a very beautiful way. In the same way, you discard yourself, but in a beautiful way. Not fighting with them, quarrelling with them. No. Wazarni wal mukazzabina ulil nama. and leave me and these who are belying you who have been given luxuries and comforts of life 
مَحِلْ هُمْ قَلِيلًا Give them respite. Don't think that immediately their cases should be settled and judgment should be passed. No, no. مَحِلْ هُمْ قَلِيلًا Give them respite. إِنَّا لَدَيْنَا عَنْ كَالَمْ وَجَحِيمًا We can deal with them when the time comes. We have the heavy fetters for them and the raging fire already prepared for them. And for them we have the food that will choke their throats. There is a comb. And a very painful chastisement. When the day on which the earth and the mountains will shake like anything, and the mountains will become like a sleeping sand, heap of sand, not hard, just the flowing and sleeping sand. Surely, O people of Makkah, O Quraysh, O the people of the Arabian Peninsula, we have sent towards you a messenger to be a witness against you on the Day of Judgment. He will testify on the Day of Judgment. O Allah, your message, which came to me through Jibreel, I had conveyed it to the people. Now they are responsible. Tamar sallallahu Just as we had sent to Fir'aun a messenger, that is Musa alayhi salatu wa salam, fa'asa Fir'aun rasul, but Fir'aun disobeyed the messenger, fa'akhaznahu akhzam wabila, so we seized him with a severe seizure, drowned them all. فَكَيْفَ تَتَّقُونَ إِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ So now if you belie and reject Muhammad, how will you be saved? If Fir'aun could not be saved, the king of Egypt, who has claimed to be God, Allah Rabbukum ala he must drown. فَكَيْفَ تَتَّقُونَ How will you be saved? إِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ If you also take to the same attitude, of rejecting our messenger. يَوْمَنْ يَجْعَلُ الْوِلْدَانَ الشِّيبَ On the day, which will make the children old, grey-haired. Long day. And we have read the opinion, according to some of the Mufassirin, this خَمْسُونَ Alpha جو ہے سورہ مارج میں آیا ہے مِقْدَارُهُ خَمْسِينَ أَلْفَ سَنَا That is for the day of judgment. السَّمَاءُ مُنْفَتِرُ مِّهِ The heaven is about to burst with that day. The day is there, loaded in the Sama. تَانَ وَعَدُهُ مَفْعُولًا And His promise will definitely be fulfilled. The day will come, this heaven will burst. إِذَا سَقَّتِ السَّمَاءُ فَكَانَتْ وَرْدَةً كَدْدِحَانُ We have read it in Surah Al-Qur'an. Rahman. In the Hadihi Taskira, verily, this is the reminding. This is the admonition. From Anshat Takhadaila Rabbi Sabila. So, whosoever wills, he can take that path towards his Lord. But there's no compulsion. Like Raha Fiddin, as I quoted the ayah in the Juma sermon today. Like Raha Fiddin. Choice is yours. إِمَّا شَاكِرًا وَإِمَّا كَفُورًا فَمَنْ شَعَفَ الْيُومِنْ وَمَنْ شَعَفَ الْيَكْفُرْ Now the second section, this is generally supposed to be one ayah. But I have been at a very great loss to understand this ayah. And I thought this cannot be one ayah revealed at one time. And thank God I got the confirmation the book which can be regarded as the encyclopedia on Quran, Al-Itqan Fi Ulum Al-Quran, by Jalaluddin Sayyuti. In that I found that Abdullah ibn Abbas, رضي الله تعالى عنهما, he said that this is actually, these are two ayat, or one ayat, 
but half of it was revealed nearly an year later than this. And the half of it was revealed about ten years later. Now this strict, strict prescription, at least one third, better half, and maybe if you can, two third of the night standing. Naturally, we can understand. It couldn't be kept, you know, permanently. It's nearly impossible. So there had to be some concessions. But those concessions came gradually. After about a year, or according to some traditions, 16 months, the first part of the ayah came. Then after 10 years, and maybe after the hijra, the rest of the ayah was revealed. Inna rabbaka ya'lamu, verily, your Lord knows, annaka taqoomu adna min sulasayya layli wa nisfahu wa sulasahu, that you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, keep vigilant and standing before him, nearly two-third of the night, or half of it, or at least one-third of it. And not only you, wa ta'ifatum min al-lazina ma'ak, and also a group from among them who are with you, your companions, who have believed in you. They are also doing it. Because there was no other prayer till that time. Only prayer during the night. But, Wallahu yuqaddirul layla wa nahar. Allah has fixed the measures of the night and the day. Alema allan tuhsuhu. He knows it very well that you cannot keep it like that. It is not possible for you to continue it permanently. Fakrahu ma tayassara min al-Qur'an. So now this, that it must be at least one third of night, this is now removed from you. Whatever you can do easily. How much Qur'an you can recite easily. Okay, continue with it. Now this was the first concession that was granted about an year or 16 months later. For a year or 16 months, this was the practice of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions. But then, the next part of the ayah, which I think was revealed ten years later, and maybe during the Madani period. Allah knows that some of you will be falling sick. And there will be others traveling in the earth, in the land. To seek the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is for trading. Taking caravans to, to Syria or to Yemen. How can during those, those travels you can keep this course? And there will be others who will be going to fight in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for these people it won't be possible. So, second step. Fakrahu ma tayasrabin. Okay, whatsoever is possible during the night, you read, you recite. But, now the emphasis is on other thing. What is that other thing? Wa aqeemu salata wa atu zakata. Establish these five prayers. Stick to them. That is the badal of it. In lieu of that, aqeemu salata wa atu zakata. And go on giving Allah the goodly loan. Spend in His way. Spend in His cause. And whatsoever you will send for yourselves, from khair, whatever good you send before you, whatever you have spent in this world, it is as if you have sent it for yourself for the hereafter. In some of the Politicians of Pakistan, they have their bank deposits in America. So they will come very easily here. If they say, go out from Pakistan, okay, salam alaikum. We are going. No worry. We have a lot there. So whosoever has deposit, deposited his money in the divine bank, if death comes to him, will he be worried? I am going where my wealth is. That's waiting for me. 
وما تقدموا لانفسكم من خير تجدوه عند الله يو ويل فايند ات ذير وذ الله سبحانه وتعالى هو خير وعظم اجرا نوت اونلي ان دي اوريجينال فورم ذات يو سنت ماتش بيتر فورم اند بوب فيري جريت ان ريكمبنس ان ريوارد واستغفر الله ان كيف اسكين دي فورجيفنس اوف الله سبحانه وتعالى ان الله غفور رحيم فيرلي الله از Forgiving, merciful. Now al mudassir. The first seven ayat, they are the fourth way. About twenty years or twenty-five years back, I took pains to discover, you know, this sequence. What are the different opinions of these early revelations? What is the sequence? So mostly this is this is agreed upon. But I am telling you. The first is five ayat of Surah Al-Alaq. The second is then nine ayat of or seven ayat of Surah Al-Nur or Surah Al-Qalam. Then the third ten ayat of Surah Al-Muzammil, and then seven ayat of Surah Al-Mudassir, and then Surah Al-Fatiha. Seven ayat of Surah Al-Fatiha. That's the fifth way, and that's the first full surah revealed to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Otherwise, before that, these are the ayat included in longer surahs so out of these seven these first three are most important most important regarding the seerah of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam bismillahir rahmanir rahim ya ayyuhal mudassir o the one who is lying wrapped up in his garment hum gird up your loins Now stand up, for anzir, and start warning. This inzar is the starting point of the prophetic mission. People, O oh mankind, remember, you have another life, and that is the real life. You will be resurrected, and this life is only a testing period. Khalaq al maut wal hayat al yablu wa kuma yakum ahsanu amala. The results will be given to you. in that eternal life of the hereafter this is the point from which the call of the prophet starts um fanzir then after some days wanzir ashirata kal qarabin warn your close relatives but this is starting point now if people respond to it some people say okay we believe in it we believe in you we believe in the resurrection we believe that that is the real life we believe in our lord that is alone then something next would be said and what is that and that is the goal of this struggle wa rabbaka fakabbir and magnify your lord what does it mean this is the goal you have to establish the supremacy of divine rule of this earth the starting point and the goal both must be clear between these two points a straight path straight line but you have to have the starting point and the goal final goal where you have to go not only preaching and preaching and preaching and saying sermon and saying sermon and saying sermon no no going on purifying 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 generations after generations purification going on no no it has to be oriented towards the revolution it has to be oriented to change the system of falsehood system of taghut system of batil uproot it and establish the system of haq the divine rule on earth the kingdom of heaven on earth thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heavens this is the goal in between we have the seerah of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and that is the methodology if you want to see how starting from inzar and reaching that point where ya al haqq wa al haqq al batil batil has disappeared and the rule of allah the whole of the arabian peninsula is established what is the methodology for that 
فار ڈیٹ یو ہیو ٹو ٹرن ٹو دی سیر آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم لقد قرآن لکم فی رسول اللہ اسوت الحسنہ اور یو ہیو ٹو فالو ایٹ سو یا یو ہل مدسر او یو ہو آر لائنگ ریپڈ اپ ان یور کلوک تم فانزر سٹینڈ اپ اینڈ سٹارٹ وارننگ پیپل مربع کا فکبر and proceed towards the goal of magnification of your Lord, so that He becomes supreme. يَكُونَ الدِّينُ كُلُّهُ لِلَّهِ The whole deen comes under Him. The whole system of life comes under Him. وَسْرَيَابَكَ فَطَّهِرُ And you should also purify your clothing, garments. وَرُجَّ فَحْجُرُ And shun all uncleanliness. وَلَا تَمْنُنْ تَسْتَقْسِرْ And don't show favor to get a bigger reward. But Marana Islahi has translated it. Don't give up your struggle. You will have great results. Maybe in the beginning you feel frustrated. Nobody is listening to me. Nobody is accepting my dawa, my, my call. Maybe in the beginning. But don't get frustrated. Don't give up the struggle. Twice he called Bani Ashu. And to a feast, all the people gathered. They took the meals. But when he stood to say something, they laughed, hooted, went away. They even not allowed, didn't allow them to, him to say something. And that was failure. But don't be disheartened. After a few days again, now the people thought we have taken twice meals here. So now we should at least listen to what he says. But what he said, the result was the whole, you know, congregation, silent, absolutely silent. Not a single voice proclaiming acceptance, except of Ali, a boy of about 13 years. He had already accepted Iman. He stands up and said, although I am the youngest here, although my legs are very weak, although my eyes are also sore, but I will help you. And the whole congregation burst into laughter. This person is going to change the system and this is his helper. He had to take it. Failure after failure. When the command came, first time Bimat Umar, he mounted the hill, hillock of Mar Sawa, Safa, all the people. But when he said his message, presented, his uncle says from the audience, Tabbal laka alihaza jamaatana, go to you. You have gathered us for this purpose. Not a single person accepted. But, O oh, Muhammad, don't give up. Wala tamnun tastaksiri. Time will come that you will get the results and rewards. Wadli rabbika fasbir. And have patience. Show perseverance. Stand fast. Faiza nukira fin naqoor. For when the trumpet would be sounded, ذَلِكَ يَوْمَ اِذِنْ يَوْمٌ عَصِيرٌ That day, it will be a very hard day. يَوْمَ يَجَعَلُ الْوِلْدَانَ شِيبَةً We have read in Surah Al-Muzammi. عَلَى الْكَافِرِينَ غَيْرُ يَسِيرٌ And for the disbelievers, it won't be easy. ذَرْنِي وَمَنْ خَلَقْتُ وَحِيدًا Now leave me alone, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, to deal with the person whom I have created lonely. Two meanings. I have alone created him. Did nobody accept joined hands with me to create him? And the other is that he was alone. He was the only son of his parents. This is actually Walid ibn Mughira. He was a big chief of Quraysh. Father of Khalid ibn Walid. Khalid ibn Walid. And he is Walid. Walid ibn Mughira. And he had great property in Mecca as well as Taif. He owned many gardens in Taif. Very rich person. And this person came very close to Ijman. 
he had understood fully that this kalam, this word that Muhammad is conveying us, is not his own, it is divine. But when he looked back, oh, my people, my nation, my tribe, then I will be cut off from them. Then he held back. So on that, you know, the wrath of Allah will appear here. Zarni wa man khalaqtu wahida. Leave me. And that, that person whom I have created as this, the only son of his parents. Wajalto lahu malam mamduda. And I have given him, him much riches and much wealth spread out. It is in Makkah, it is in Taif. Wabanina shahuda. And I have given him sons who are before him present. Now this word, you know, you can very well appreciate. Many a parents in Pakistan, they long to see their sons who have been exported to America. Many die, can't see their sons. But a person whose sons are with him before his eyes, he is a very lucky person. He doesn't have to export his son anywhere to earn some dinars from Kuwait or from or from Abu Dhabi or Dubai or from America dollars. No. Only a rich person could afford that his sons, they are present before him. Banina Shuhuda, not absent from his sight. Bamahatulahutamhida. And I smooth for him everything completely, agreeable, comfortable. Summa yatma wa nazida. Then he wishes that I should give him more. Kalla. No. That's the end of it. Innahu kana li ayatina anida. In the long run he has proved to be opponent to our revelations. Saurihikuhu sauda. Soon I shall afflict him through a hard ascent. إِنَّهُ فَكَّرَ وَقَدَّرَ Surely he reflected and estimated what will happen if I accept. My people will leave me. This position that I hold, that be gone. There may be a boycott. إِنَّهُ فَكَّرَ وَقَدَّرَ He thought and estimated. فَقْقُتِلَ كَيْفَ قَدَّرَ He be killed. How he estimated. Summa kotila kaifa qaddara. Again, let him perish. How he determined and estimated. Summa nazara. Then he looked. Summa abasa wa basara. Then he frowned and scowled to show people as if he is in deep contemplation. Summa adbara wa stakbara. Then he turned back and showed arrogance. Fakal and then he said, in Haza illa sehun you, sir. This Quran is nothing. What Muhammad is presenting as revelation from Allah is nothing but sorcery which is coming from ancient times, you, sir. From the older generation that is coming. In Haza illa qalul bashar. It is nothing but the saying of a man, not divine. There he retreated. قسمت کی خوبی دیکھئے ٹوٹی کہاں کمند دو چار ہاتھ جبکہ نبی باپ رہ گیا otherwise his people asked him do you think محمد is a magician he said no I know many magicians he is not a magician he is not like them do you think he is a kahin a fortune teller suit say no 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 I know many soothsayers and fortunes. What he is presenting is not like the sayings of soothsayers and kinds. Is he a poet? No, no, no. I can very well assess the poetry. It's not poetry, something else. Then people, you know, the thought is gone. But then he has the second thought. He came back. فَقَالَ اِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا سِحْرٌ يُوسَرْ اِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا قَوْلُ الْبَشَرْ سَأُسْلِيهِ السَّطَرْ 
I shall make him enter, cast him into the scorching fire. Rama adraka ma sakaran. What will we make you realize? What is this scorching fire? La tumki wala nazar, wala tazar. Neither let it perish, nor leave it alone. Summala yamu to fiha wala yahya. Then man will not neither be alive there nor dead. La wahatul lil bashar. It's, it will scorch the skin. Alayha tisata ashar. On that we have 19 angels. They are the guards or the keepers of that hell. Now about this 19 figure. Wama jalna ashaban nar illa malaika. And have, we have not posted as wardens of the hell. But angels. They are not human beings. Because when this ayah was narrated, and they cited to the Quraysh, some one of them, perhaps Nadir ibn Haris, he said, Okay, brother, it's very easy. There are only 19 over there, Muhammad says. For 10, I'm sufficient. For the rest of 9, you arrange. I can take on them. They are not men, men. they are angels. And we have not disclosed their number, illa fitnatan lillazina kafuru. But as a test and trial for these people who don't believe. So that those people who were given the book before, they should be convinced. It appears that in Torah somewhere this figure of 19 must have appeared. That is why Allah says, And it will increase those who believe in their belief and faith. Because whosoever believes, he says, everything is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kullu min indi rabbina, abal nabi. Wala yartab al-lazina utul kitab al-mu'minun. And so that the people who were given the book and the believers should not have any doubt. Wala yakul al-lazina fi qulubihim maradun. And so that those, those people in whose hearts there is a disease of nifaq or kufr, wal kafirun, and the disbelievers, they should say, Maza arad Allahu bihaza masala. What has Allah intended by this similitude of 19? In this very way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leads astray whomsoever He likes. And leads to the right path, rise to the right path whomsoever He wishes. And this is nothing but a reminding, an admonition for the human beings. This ayah, I think, is not in, to, in line with the, the, the 31 ayat, the 30 ayat that we have read. Small ayat, small ayat, and this lengthy ayat. I think like the second section of Surah Al-Muzammil, this was also revealed in Medina, added here. But then again, the same rhythm, small ayat, a very fast rhythm, again that starts. Kalla wal qamar. Nay. And by the moon, wal layli is adbar. And by the night, when it turns its back, wal subh is asfar. And by the dawn, when it brightens, inna ha la al kubar. Verily, this is one of the greatest things. Nazir al lil bashar. A warner for the whole of mankind. These ayat, maybe if you consult other tafasir, you'll find different views. But I am confident that these denote the advent of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Kalla wal qamar. Before his advent, the divine guidance in this world had become very less bright. There was in Jeel, there was Torah. But as you know, the light of moon, moon is not very shining, not like the sun. It's not, it cannot brighten the night as the day is brightened by the sun. So that was the condition before his coming. is Adbar. And the night, it was the night. Six hundred years they went to make one night. Why? For 600 years, for the first time in the history of this, this globe, this planet, 
For the first time in the history of this planet, there was no prophet, no messenger of Allah on the earth. After Jesus, before Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, six hundred long years. Before that, there was no single moment when a prophet or a messenger was not present. That was the fatratul wahi, al fatratul ula. For six hundred years, and then came Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this was a night regarding this institution of prophethood and messengerhood. It was like a night. No messenger, no prophet. But then was Subh is a asfar. Then the son of the Prophet of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it arose and it brightened. Just as the sun brightens the, the earth. Inna laid al kubar. And this is one of the biggest things. The advent of Muhammad is not something small, something simple. The final messenger, the final prophet. On whom the deen is going to be perfected. Who will make the deen of Allah supreme, actually. Because at this time we are just in the beginning of the wahi. This is the fourth wahi which we are reading. So it was going to be a prophecy. At that time Allah is saying, don't take it lightly. The advent of Muhammad in the hall of Al Kubar. It is one of the greatest things. One of the greatest events of this universe. Nazir al Bashar. And now he has come as a warner. The same word. Hum fa anzir. For the whole mankind. Liman sha min kumayyata qaddama wa yata akhar. For whoever, whoever wants, desires among you to go ahead or be left behind. Come forward, accept Muhammad or keep behind. Then you will be deprived. Kullu nafsi mima kashabat rahina. Every soul shall be in pledge for what it has earned. Hostage against our deeds. You are a hostage against what you have earned in the in the world. Illa ashab al yamin, except those to whom their record will be given in their right hands. Fi jannat, they will be in the gardens. Yata saalun anil mujrimin, and they will be asking about the guilty, those who are will be in the hell. Masala ka kum fi sakar. What was the cause? What did lead you to this scorching fire? Why have you been, you have been thrown in this fire? And they will say, "Qalu lam nakum in al musallin." We were not from among, from among those who prayed. Wa lam nakum nutaim al miskin, and we didn't feed the needy. We never gave any alms. وَكُنَّا نَخُوذُ مَعَ الْخَائِلِينَ And we kept busy in vain talk with the vain talkers. We never took it seriously. What Muhammad was saying, we never took it seriously. وَكُنَّا نُكَزِّنُ بِيَوْمِ الدِّينَ And we kept repudiating and belied the day of judgment. He said, no, no, no resurrection. Impossible, impossible. How can we be resurrected? When we shall all die and we shall be reduced to bones and, and you know, sand and earth and nothing else. Dust, dust by what? To dust return dust. How can we, we be resurrected? Till that time, that that sure thing came to us, that is death. فَمَا تَنْفَعُهُمْ شَفَاتُ الشَّافِعِينَ So now, no intercession of the intercessors is going to avail them anything. فَمَا لَهُمْ أَنِ تَسْكِرَةِ مُورِ دِينَ But what has happened to them? Why are they turning away from the admonition? Muhammad is calling them. Why are they turning away? كَأَنَّهُمْ حَقُرٌ مُسْتَنْفِرَةٌ As if they are the startled donkeys. And to me come the scene, you know, the startled zebras when they run, if they see Farrat bin Kaswara, if they feel some lion is coming, and then they run, you know. You must have seen that scene in the pictures regarding these 
words of Congo and etc. They run like anything. So how, why are they running away from this reminding? As if they are the startled zebras or donkeys fleeing from a loin, farrat min kaswara. Mal yuridu kullum reim min humay yuta sohra munashara. Nay. But uh, every one of them is, wants to have, to be given scrolls spread out. It was their saying, why this Quran has been sent to Muhammad alone? If Allah wanted to send us a message, He could have sent a book to each one of us. Could He do it? Then He could do it. Nobody can say that He could not do it. He can do anything. But He chose this way. He said, we should have been given scrolls open so that we could read it. Maybe one fine morning everybody found a scroll under his, you know, pillow. And if it happened to all of the people, well, they were sure that something has come from, from some unseen world. But no, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent his message to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and deputed him to convey the message. Not at all. Actually, the reason is that they don't fear the day of judgment and the life of hereafter. Had they even an iota of that fear, they would have thought, they would have pondered deeply, they would have contemplated. But because they don't believe, no resurrection. This is the life. Eat, drink, and be merry. Namutu wa nahya, wa ma yuhlikuna illa dhar. We live ourselves, we die ourselves. And nothing makes us die except the time. That's all. No God that He keeps us alive and He will cause us to die. No. Kalla inna hu taskira. Not at all. This is only a reminding. This is only an admonition. I have explained it several times that the basic knowledge of Allah and the basic love of Allah is within our hearts. It is present in the Ruh. Ruh has come from Allah. Holy Ruh of Amr Rabbi. It's not from this material world. Our body, it is from the material world. It has come from the clay. And it will go to clay again. But Ruh has come from Allah. Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi raji'oon. Our spirits are not going to be buried with us. It will go return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Quran has come only to activate your Ruh. This dormant consciousness within you. Quran activates it. And that is Taskira. Yad Dehani. Kalla innahu taskira fuman shah zakara. Whosoever wishes, he can avail of this admonition. He can benefit from this reminding. He can get reminded. Vama yaskuruna illa yasha Allah. But they will not be able to get reminded. But if Allah wants, if Allah permits, for every action here in this world, there are two components. I decided to lift this cup. I could not do it without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Somebody tries something bad for me. He cannot do anything bad for me unless there is permission from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You aim at me, you know, but the bullet will miss me if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want, want me to die. You might be a very, you know, expert. Your aim might be very good, but no, it won't touch me. So for everything, the decision to do something is ours. But to be able to do it, actually, it requires the permission and help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Baba yas corona illah yasha Allah. They can't benefit from it, except if Allah wants and wishes. He is worthy of fear and worthy of forgiveness. 
Now, Surat Al Qiyamah. Now, please remember that after these Surat Al Muzammi, Surat Al Mudassi, they are a pair. Now, till the end of Quran, all these surahs are in pairs. This grouping is three, three, the subgroup of three that has happened. But now, all these surahs are in pairs. Al Qiyamah. Now, this surah is very unique in its style. It is as if, you know, there is an orator and he is delivering an oration. And the real, you know, essence of this surah is only comes out when you recite it as an orator. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. La uqsimu bihaad yawm al-qiyamah. I swear by the day of resurrection. You think it is impossible? I swear by it. It is going to come. وَلَا أُخْسِمُ بِالنَّفْسِ اللَّهُ وَعَمَا Nay, I swear by the self-reproaching soul within you, the conscience which bites you, when you do something wrong, there is something within you. You yourself say, my conscience is biting me. Don't you say? What is this conscience? This is a sign that you are responsible, you are accountable, and some reward will come to you. Some punishment will come to you. This is the proof of resurrection within you. وَفِي أَنفُسِكُمْ وَفَلَا تُبْسِرُونَ أَيَحْسَبُ الْإِنسَانُ أَلَّمْ نَجْمَا عِزَامَ Does man think that we will not be able to gather his bones when he is dead? And this is the case. بَلَا Why not? قَادِرِينَ عَلَىٰ أَنْ مُسَوِّيَ بَنَانَ We are fully capable of restoring his very fingertips. The real cause is that this man wants to continue evil. Go on sinning in this life, in front of him. He asks very haughtily, okay, when will this day of judgment come? Tell us if you are true. Faiza barik al basar. But when? The sight will be dazed. Wa al-Qamar. And the moon will be eclipsed. Wa al-Shamsu al-Qamar. And the moon and the sun will be joined together. This moon will go into the sun. Yaqulu al-Insanu yawma izin an al-Mafar. That day this man will say, Is there any place to run? Is there any place to hide? Kalla la mazar. And it will be told, no, there is no place of refuge. إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ يَوْمَ إِذَنِ الْمُسْتَقَرُ There is only one place, and that is with your Lord. You have to go to Him. You have to stand before Him. يُنَبَّوْ الْإِنسَانُ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ بِمَا قَدَّمَ وَأَخَّرُ And every human being will be told on that day what he sent before coming to that and what he left behind. These are the two aspects of human deeds. We are doing something good, bad, and we are sending it. It's going on continuously and being recorded over there till our death. But when we depart from here, we leave behind something, either good or bad. If you started some good institution, it is working after you. After you have gone, it is, it is working, benefiting people. You will get the credits. You will go on getting the credit. So this is akhar. Qaddama wa akhara. What he sent before and what he left behind. Balil insanu ala nafsahi basira. But actually, no man will need to be told what he has done. He himself knows where he stands. Every insan is an evidence against himself. He knows himself. Wala wal qama azira. Even though he is to put up his excuses and explanations and rationalization. But in the heart of his heart, he something says, you are telling a lie. You have quietened these people by giving explanations and rationalizing. I did this because of this and that was the reason, not this, not this was the intention. Okay, people are quietened. But still something in yourself, you are telling a lie.
جس بل الانسان والا نفسی بصیرہ ولا القا معذیرہ لا تو ہر رک بہی لسانہ کلے تاج نبی او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ڈونٹ موو یور ٹنگ ہسٹری سو ہیز ٹو ریمبر دس قرآن ہسٹری ان علینا جمع ہوا قرآن اٹس اوور ریسپانسبلٹی وی شیل گیدر اٹ ان یور چیسٹ اور ہارٹ اٹس اپاؤن اس دی کلیکٹنگ دیئر آف اینڈ دی ریسائٹنگ دیئر آف دی سیکوینس وی شیل فکس دی سیکوینس آف ریولیشن از ڈفرینٹ دی سیکوینس آف کمپائلیشن از ڈفرینٹ سو وی ول گیو یو دی سیکوینس آف کمپائلیشن فائزا قرآن ہو فتب قرآن And when we fix that sequence and recite, then follow you the reciting thereof. Then you have to follow that, not of the sequence of the revelation. Summa inna alayna bayana. Then it's also upon us, our duty, to explain it. This explanation came in two ways. Either in Quran itself, something was revealed and then there were questions from the companions of the Prophet. Then Allah sent another ayah to explain that. Yes, Taftunak. Twice in Surat, Surat Nisa we have, yes, Taftunak. These people are asking you about that. So Allah makes it more clear. So there is ayat. Either Quran or the Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Kitabun antallahu ilayka mubarakan. The other ayah. The tubayyana lillasi ma nuzzila ilayhim. Inna nazzalna alayka zikra. The tubayyana lillasi ma nuzzila ilayhim. We have sent this zikr for the humanity, for mankind, but on you, so that you explain it to the people. Kalla bal tuhibun al ajala. Nay, O people, O mankind, your real disease is that you love this life, which is ajala, which is present. The gain of this life you feel, palpable. The loss. palpable you feel you are only thinking about this life you love this life but azarun al akhira and you have given away the hereafter you are never think about the hereafter wujuh yawm aizin nazira many faces on that day of judgment day of resurrection will be fresh and radiant shining ila rabbiha nazira And they will be looking towards the Lord. May Allah include us among them. And many faces on that day will be gloomy. And they will be thinking that now some back-breaking treatment will be done to them. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim. Wa nafani wa iyaakum bil ayat wa zikri hakeem. الله أكبر الله أكبر. The Islamic Organization of North America (IONA) is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing IONA is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about IONA, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. 
join us together we can make a difference